Welcome to Lucor Automotive. Today we're working on a 1988 5.7 liter 350 cubic inch tune port IROC Z Z28. IROC Zs were uh, really the thing to have in the late 80s. I remember a lot of guys at my high school had them and I was jealous. I thought they were a pretty bitchin' ride. The IROC Z with a 5.7 tune port came from the factory with 230 horsepower, 330 foot-pounds of torque. And by the standards of that time, that was a bitchin' car. There was a lot of power under that hood. It would melt tires, posi traction rear end. It's a fun car to drive. This car here is actually quite unique. It is a 1988 IROC Z, Z28 tune port, and this car is a true survivor. It has 1,312 miles on it. It's not rolled over, it's not been restored, it's wearing its original paint, its original interior, and pretty much everything on this car is original except for the tires, which were replaced like 12 years ago. This car was brought in to us by its owner for some mechanical repairs. The temperature gauge wasn't working and the cooling fans weren't coming on and it had an engine misfire. So we addressed all those issues, not, nothing too major. We, we put a, a thermal switch in it for the cooling fans because they're a pretty high failure item. I put eight brand new AC Delco fuel injectors in it because we had a plugged one. We wanted to make sure that, that we didn't have to pull the, the tune port system back apart on this car because it's not a fun job to do. The gaskets in the days back then, when they're 30 years old, pretty much resemble the consistency of concrete and they're, they're not any fun at all to get off of the old parts. We were lucky enough to source some AC Delco injectors and a full set of Felpro gaskets for the redoing the, the upper plenum, the, all the tubes and upper and lower plenum gaskets. And we got this car all back together, drove it around. I probably drove it more in the last couple days than this car has been driven in years. Um, altogether, a whole 10 miles test driving this car to make sure all of our issues are resolved. And I uh, was giving it his last final check over before returning it to the customer, and I noticed some green antifreeze sitting on the passenger side floor mat. Well, any of you familiar with an old car from the late 80s when you had coolant on your passenger's floor in a GM car you need to get a heater core unfortunately that means pulling the dash and for me there's nothing more terrifying than having to pull a plastic dash out of a 31 year old car that if I break something it's not gonna be available I can't just call up the dealership and say hey I need a dash pad for a 1988 Camaro because they don't have them and you're probably not going to find one as nice as what's in this car but we were lucky we uh, we pulled the dash out of the car put a new heater core in it I was lucky enough to find a heater core um, unfortunately you know bad things happen to good cars and that's just what happened in this case so after some injectors a coolant temp switch and a heater core a cooling service this car is ready to roll. Now it's probably just going to end up rolling back into the owner's garage and uh, it'll probably stay there for a while next to his other 86 Camaro which is coming in right after this one. Uh, but for now it's time to release this car back into the wilds or at least back into the safety of its of its own garage. So thanks for watching. This is just a little insight to IROG Z with a tune port. Pretty neat car. Back in 1988, if you wanted to pick one of these up, you'd lay down $13,900 and, and this bad boy would be all yours. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you get a chance to, please leave us a comment in, in the comment section below. Give us a like or hit the subscribe button because we're always looking for new people to watch what we do. We're just a small shop taking care of customers' cars and kind of showing a little bit of what goes on under the hood and behind the scenes. I'm Richard Lucor. Have a great day.